Hey crazy friends, are you ready for a Costco grocery haul today? I'm so excited, I'm leaving the house. Come with me and I will show you everything that I got at Costco and you might see some keto finds because we're running low on stuff. And I have my mask and my sanitizing wipes. Yay, it's sunny out, I'm excited. I am so excited. There are a couple new finds that I found at Costco and I can't wait to show you. And so let's get to it. I'm sure you're excited about what I found. Oh, so this is not keto, but my family loves these hash browns. So I picked those up and we we're running low on bread. I just picked up some cheap bread and my kids could not live without chicken nuggets so those i picked up then the slim jims now you know looking at the front of the box you might think "Ooh, this could be keto no 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 so let's look at the if you look at the macros on it it's five carbs one dietary fiber so that's four net carbs for one stick I just probably steer clear of this. There is a lot of filler, there's soy, there's corn syrup. Not a very good choice for keto. I don't buy these very often for my kids, but they enjoy them. So picked those up today and then picked up some mushrooms. I wanna do some stuffed mushrooms. We are running low on macadamia nuts and this is like the one thing I love for crunch. And then my family really likes these taco kits. It's chicken street tacos. And sometimes what I'll do is I will just take the chicken and make myself a salad while they're having the tacos. So it makes for a real easy dinner if you don't feel like cooking. And these were such a steal. I had to get them. Um, they were colored hard boiled eggs and it's after Easter, but they were like $1.97, I think. I'll put the price above so you can see, but aren't those cute? And I figure they love deviled eggs, so this would be super easy to crack them, peel them, and make some deviled eggs. Uh, I've shown this before. I do not buy avocado mayo anymore because my family just loves best foods mayonnaise so that's what we purchased because i hate having two different mayonnaise in the fridge and then you know this about me i am not a huge fan of the Kerrygold butter so i buy the organic uh, salted butter what i like about it is it fits in my butter dish. Kerrygold does it, and I just, I don't know, there's something about the flavor of Kerrygold that I'm not a huge fan of. So the smoked pulled pork, zero carb, really clean, really easy dinner. Um, if you can find a keto barbecue sauce, this is so delicious. And then I picked up some raspberries because you can eat raspberries on keto. I'm not a huge fruit person or berry person, but they're kind of nice every once in a while. You've seen these before. These are the California Snackin' Salami Provolone Cheese. Uh, let's look at the macros on these. Oh, see, they're, they're kind of tricky. I don't know it, if it's gonna focus for you. But basically they give you macros for the salami and one for the provolone cheese. Like you're not going to eat them together, I'm not sure. So for the salami it's 100 calories and for the provolone cheese it's 100. Oh, and there's one and a half servings per container. See, they just, sometimes that really irritates me. So there's one and a half servings per container. Uh, so these are like 150 calories, 150, so this is like a 300 calorie pack, but it is low carb, so that's one nice thing. And these are our absolute favorite, the prosciutto and mozzarella rolls. So those are the macros, zero carb, 
uh, two ounces is the serving size, 120 calories. Uh, let's see, how many? So 12 ounces, so one package. Oh, that's so nice. One package is zero carbs and 120 calories. I like it. Then we'll go over here. I, I usually pick up ribeyes, but today I picked up some New York steaks. I like using this Asian cashew chopped salad to make like an egg roll in a bowl and things like that. But it is becoming nicer where I live, so I might just do like a chopped salad, throw some meat on it, and obviously not use their vinaigrette in it and make my own dressing and have a wonderful salad at, um, for dinner. Then we are out of mozzarella cheese, so I picked that up. I decided that I wanted some fresh cauliflower, so this is the organic cauliflower from Costco. My husband has to have whipped cream at all times, so there's some whipped cream. And he also likes these Philly cheesesteaks. Now, if you don't know, I am the only one in my family that is doing keto right now. And so that's why you see a lot of non-keto things in here. And then this is our favorite cheddar cheese. It's organic and it's not colored. Then I picked up some ground beef. This was a new item and why I'm so excited, it's cooked sticky rice. And let's see, I think you just microwave it. Yes, so you just microwave these for a minute, 30 seconds and bam, you have white sticky rice. And what I'm going, I, why I'm so excited about this is because if you're the only person doing keto in your family, you might make a keto main dish, but then you're trying to find sides to go with the meal for the rest of your family. So if I have a, I have a couple people that like white rice, bam, minute 30, they got their, starchy side so that will be super nice and then they love the the kids love these mac and cheese things from panera bread they're individual containers then i was running low on marinara sauce so i just picked up the kirkland organic let's see so these this is pretty high in carbs I would probably steer clear. It's nine net carbs for a half a cup. So you're better off doing rows or making your own. And then I was out of sour cream, so I picked up some sour cream. Can't live without this. And then everyone in my family, I think everyone in my family loves these beef sticks, beef snack sticks. Now, in Carb Manager, these pull up as one stick is 110 calories. So I don't know if they changed the nutrition facts, but now it says a half a stick on here. Zero carbs still, but a half a stick is 110 calories. So let me know in the comments below. Did it used to be one stick on here? Or has it always been a half stick and I just assumed no one would be eating just a half a stick for a serving? So let me know in the comments below. And then I was uh, out of the toilet wand, uh, not the wand itself, but those little refills. So pick that up and then this was something that I have never seen at my Costco and I'm really excited about it. It is riced cauliflower in microwavable pouches and it's in the dry section. I, you can't hear it, but it was in the dry section so it doesn't have to be frozen. And I'm really excited about trying this. If you want me to do a review on it and let you know how I think it is if it tastes good or if it tastes horrible um, please write in the comments below that you want me to do a review and the macros are good on it 
So I'm pretty excited to try it. And it's just cauliflower, water, and malic acid. So this was a new find. I had never seen it before. I don't know if you're anything like me, freezer space is at a premium sometimes. So having this in the pantry is going to be so nice. I hope it tastes good. I got some flowers too. They had petunias, they had Gerber daisies. So that was my Costco haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I just, you guys are wonderful. And thank you for subscribing and giving me the like button or the like, the thumbs up button. I really, really appreciate it. And I hope you guys are staying safe out there and spending quality time with your family. Have a good day, guys.